Oh, hey there. So <clears throat> we talked about the Ten Commandments, right? I just went through all Ten Commandments for you. And maybe you're like, I can't count to ten. It's too much. I can't handle all this. It's too much information, which I think is hard to believe. The Pharisees got together and they came to Jesus and they said, they were trying to fool him. And they said, what is the greatest commandment? Like, which one of these should we follow the most? And this is what Jesus said, okay? Listen carefully. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. So he said, that's the greatest commandment. And the second one is like it, which is to love your neighbor as yourself. If you do these two things, you fulfill the whole law. It says all the law and all the prophets hang on these two things. Now, let's think about that just for a second. I just want to unpack that. If you love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, you won't use his name in vain, and you won't have other false gods, okay? So that knocks out the first two, and you'll keep the Sabbath day holy. If you love your neighbor as yourself, if you love somebody else like you love yourself, you wouldn't murder them. You wouldn't sleep with their wife or husband, as the case may be. You wouldn't... Um, talk bad about them. You wouldn't bear false witness about them. You wouldn't covet their stuff. It, all the other things, right? You wouldn't do that because if you're loving them like yourself, then you have fulfilled the whole law. And I, I think a lot of people get worried about the minutia of the law. Technically, this is bad. Technically, this is bad. And you're like, I, I think what Jesus was saying here is, are you acting in love? Are you loving God and displaying that or not? Right? Because he knows our hearts. He knows our intentions. And are you loving your neighbor? That's how you measure. You go, look, am I loving them? Am I acting in a loving way? If the answer is yes, good. If the answer is no, make an adjustment. If you're like, yeah, but they did this and this to me. That's, that's, the, that's on them. What are you doing? Okay, you're responsible for your actions. They're responsible for their actions. If you want to know how to follow God, that's it. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. In this, all the law and all the prophets are fulfilled. That's what everything hangs on, is just love people, like genuinely love people, okay? I can't emphasize this enough. I feel like we overlook that. Jesus said to the Pharisees, you strain at a gnat and you swallow the camel. In other words, you're worried about every little tiny thing, like is that technically wrong? Is this technically wrong? We're getting up in each other's business. You shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do this. We're not here to go tattle on each other, okay? We're here to love each other. And we miss that point. We miss that point tragically. And I think if we can just do that part, I don't know anybody in the world that can argue with that, right? You can say Christians have done bad things throughout history. True story, okay? Christians are doing bad things right now. Also true story. In the name of God, which in my opinion, when you're using the name of the Lord in vain, you're going and doing bad things or selfish things and then putting that on God. Right? That's using the name of the Lord in vain as well. And are there people that have done that and continue to do that today throughout all history? Yes. And to me, that is heartbreaking. Right, But rather than pointing the finger at everybody else, I think we all ought to just look back and reflect on our own self and go, am I acting in love? That's how I can measure this. Right, like, Am I acting in love to that person? And if so, my conscience is clean. My heart is pure. And does that mean sometimes you turn the other cheek, that you walk the extra mile, that you do the hard thing, that you're the bigger person? Yeah, probably every day, okay? You gotta take up your cross and follow Jesus every day. But anybody who genuinely does that, all the time I get told, you make Christians look good. You know, you're like what a real Christian should be like. And I appreciate that, thank you. Um, but I take it seriously. I just want it, I want, at the end of my life when I reach judgment, I just wanna hear Jesus look at me and say, well done, good and faithful servant. That's all I want. I want that, and I want all of you guys to be there in heaven. I want heaven to be a fuller place. I want us to be done with this curse and to be done with all the bad things in life and all the sin in life that so easily entangles and messes our lives up. All the bad things in life that you look at and you go, this is horrible, this is horrible, the solution is, it's not. It's not more government programs. It's getting your life right with God. It's just like obeying him. Love you guys.